What's going on guys, it's Dan, your Wi-Fi astronaut, back here again for another video. And today we're gonna to be talking about your first steps on Amazon going from nothing to you know selling on Amazon and being able to buy products and sell them profitably. Now recently this came to my attention um, from a friend who I'm helping get started selling on Amazon. He's almost like a case study for me, trying to get him up to you know $10,000 profit months. And just by doing that, just helping him uh, it's come up with these questions, you know, he's asked me and stuff. So pretty much let's go through some of the first steps that you're going to need when you want to start selling on Amazon. So the very, very first thing you need to do is sell.amazon.com. You need to create an Amazon account. You cannot sell anything. You cannot do anything. You cannot even use the third party tools or analytics. You can't do anything without a third party Amazon seller account. You need it. Get that process started because it can take up to a month, I believe. Uh, I think it used to be quicker, but um, if you do everything right the first time, it should take between like two weeks and one month to get set up and, and open and ready. So get that set up ASAP. And then once that's up or while that is processing and while that's getting ready, then that's when you start consuming content. And ideally, you need to, one, you need to get down all the verbiage and I have a link down below. Uh, to a free Amazon cheat sheet where you can get all the verbiage you need. Uh, but as you're starting to learn all like the, the words and stuff and all the different, you know, sayings or, or acronyms or whatever, you need to be focusing on how to source products. Everything else you can figure out as you go, right? So, you know, it's more important to figure out how to source a profitable product than it is to figure out how to create that shipment for that product. Because if you're just focusing on like all the back end stuff right away, how to create a shipment, understanding account health, or how to ship FBM. None of that matters unless you have a profitable product. And also, once you have that profitable product in front of you, you're going to be a lot more motivated to learn all that back-end stuff a lot quicker, uh, and it's, it's all going to sink in a lot better in your head because you're going to have profit, potential profit sitting in front of you, and it's depending on you learning the rest of it. So I would say the, the, the most important thing is obviously you need to get the Amazon seller account open, uh, and then you need to be learning how to source. Without knowing how to get the profitable products, all this is pointless. So you need to be learning how to source. You need to be consuming that content. You need to be practicing. You need to be using Keepa, um, understanding Keepa, uh, going through. If you want to do wholesale, you need to start starting to open up wholesale accounts, having your whole LLC set up and everything like that. And then you want to start opening up those wholesale accounts, getting those price lists or master catalogs and running them through a software and then eventually, you know, sorting it through yourself, being able to look at, look through it personally or through the eyes of a human is always better than software because unfortunately as good, as good as it is, and it is getting really, really good and it's gotten a lot better, like each month it seems like it improves. Um, it is never going to be as good, or at least right now it's not as a human and especially a trained human, a trained person who understands Keepa, understands seller's rank, understands what a listing should look like. Um, it's never gonna be as good as identifying profitable products as you will be. So it, again, it is another very, very important reason why you need to be focusing on how to source products profitably and how to identify them. Because once you can identify a profitable product, you can just rinse and repeat. You can train VAs or other people, because they could be stateside, how to identify profitable products as well. And then the business just keeps going and moving. It's a snowball effect. Once you learn how to do it really well and you can train other people, then it keeps going. Now in my business and today, in today's day or whatever, I am barely even sourcing products myself anymore. It is mostly just my VAs and the other people that work for me. Uh, personally, that's how I like it. I don't like sourcing products, so I outsource that to my VAs and, and whoever else is doing it. Um, that's how I roll and that's how most of these Amazon sellers and larger Amazon companies do it. You're not having the top guys sourcing products anymore. All of that gets outsourced because it's just easier and we could focus on growing the business instead of really working in it. So I may spend more time talking to some uh, sales reps or product suppliers about you know certain deals on certain products, but in terms of identifying the profitable ones, I'm not doing that anymore. You know, that's always outsourced now. It's just easier that way and allows the business to grow better. Uh, but back to the next steps that you should be doing. Once you're identifying the profitable products, the third thing that you need to be doing, and this is the hardest thing, is you've got to pull the trigger on actually buying them. Because there's a lot of people that get stuck in the analysis, paralysis kind of mindset where 
you know, let's say they don't want to buy anything at a anything less than a, a 14 or a, let's say a 15% margin. You know, they may get a product that's 14.5% margin and then, you know, they, they start analyzing and they get stuck in what's called analysis paralysis and it, they just can't pull the trigger because it's 0.5% lower than what they want Where when in reality you need to be getting products into Amazon as soon as possible and getting the sales going because if you want to grow your Amazon business or even starting it, you need to have inventory. And if you want to double your Amazon business, you double your amount of inventory. That's how it works. You need to have more inventory and more products to sell. I can't stress enough. The most important thing is that you have a consistent flow of re replenishable products and new products coming in. That's how your business will grow. That, that is the only way it will grow. It won't grow by you studying your account health. You will maintain your business and you'll maintain your Amazon account, account with proper account health, but it's not going to grow. You need to be finding profitable products. That is how your business will grow. And that is it for today's video. Make sure to go get the cheat sheet down below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.